What is up guys, it's a brand new day And yeah, today is a bit different, a bit of a movie kind of um, Oh, I've got dirty lens, hold on That's better I feel really good. I'm gonna stop and start again. Audio yeah, so today, with a little help from Casey Neistat, I'm gonna explain about finishing what you start. Today's vlog is going to be dedicated to talking about an idea. I hope you find that interesting. Very cold. Very early, very dark run this morning. That run this morning, that run in the freezing cold, that was at six o'clock this morning. That is. 6 in the a.m. I was up outside running in the freezing cold. It is currently 9 p.m. 9 o'clock at night. Tomorrow morning I also have to get up at 5.30 in the morning. But I didn't shoot a vlog today, I didn't shoot a video, which is fine, taking days off is fine, but I shot this morning, which meant I started something. So if I didn't do a vlog today, it would have meant starting something and not finishing something. And in my book, that's not okay. Um, today is Sunday, Padre Football Day, training, before the big games next weekend in Nottingham. But yeah, so like I'm saying, like this video is about, finish what you start, you know. Um, in Casey's exploration, always be closing. Someone who starts something and doesn't finish something, that is a loser. Someone who starts something and always finishes it, that is a closer. One of my favorite movies is called Glen Gary, Glen Ross. Here's a quick scene. A, B, C. A, always, B, B, C, closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. Yeah, I tattooed that on my heart. Consider when you start something to put yourself in the right mindset to finish it. I, mean, I admit a lot of videos or some videos in the past I've rushed just to get the content out there. I mean I felt like that yesterday with the Saturday night one but I was proud of it in the end. It came out good. I forgot that I could create a video that quickly you know, with a few hours up and get it uploaded and write a description and all that. And I did. Um, yeah so let's watch a bit more of what I got up to today. And I'll see you back here soon. You know, and it, it goes for anything. Um, from the simplest task, you know, especially the simplest task. If you can do the simple things right, then the rest comes easier. That was a risky one. Could have been a tall one.
y'all doing? It's Sunday evening. And, oh, that's my phone. Um, I'm back from training. Um, I did end this video earlier today, but I don't think it was good enough. Um, I'm, to be honest, like, it was quite a funny training. I got hit in the face with the ball somehow. Like, an unlucky bounce. And it got hit in the face. I'm fine, though. I mean, I, does my face look alright? I got all my teeth. Um, last week I talked about that Voltaire quote, perfection is the enemy of good. And what that means is you can never let your desire for perfection prevent you from finishing something that's good. Because to finish something, even imperfectly, is to learn from it and then you can move on and get closer to perfection. But yeah, guys, like Casey says, I mean, people are thinking about per perfection every time. Like, especially when I play in touch football. It's about getting the, hitting the ball perfectly, hitting it in that perfect way. But then you can't guarantee every teammate that receives a pass is going to be put hit it perfectly like you do. And I can't guarantee that I'll hit it perfectly. And today I learned that more than ever. Um, but yeah, like Casey says, you know, people are worried about being so perfect. You know, sometimes just do it good. Maybe it's not perfect and the best of your ability, but get it done. You know, find a way. These fundamentals dovetail nicely with my passion for YouTube. Prior to really embracing YouTube, I always considered like my filmmaking, the content I made to be precious and perfection was imperative. And how that actually manifested, what that actually meant was I just didn't make a lot of stuff because I always had that excuse to fall back on. And in embracing YouTube and more specifically, giving myself this daily mandate to upload a video, it has forced me to abandon this idea of perfection, this false idea of perfection, and instead forced me to focus on productivity. And that, in aggregate, over time, has made me a much better filmmaker, has made me a much better storyteller, creator, all of that. And yeah, he is right. It's the idea, the concept of, yeah, you film a, I film a vlog and then I have to edit it. And that kind of takes longer because I get more ideas in editing. Like, and then most of the, that that's how you get a vlog. Most of the bits, like, they're not all I filmed. I, c I can film a lot more and then just not include half of it. I've done that in the past. And then sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I need to explain something called the Pareto Principle. Eighty percent of the movie, that is the filming, like all the stuff with the camera, me out running around, like the idea, the concept, all that stuff, the first eighty percent of the movie is only twenty percent of the work. And the last twenty percent of the movie, which is for me the editing, the last twenty percent of the movie is eighty percent of the work. All the things that people typically associate with making a movie is really only the small part of the pie. And the big part of the pie, the Pac-Man part, this is finishing. This is closing. And this rule, by the way, this applies to everything in life. This applies to school, whether you're a, a painter or a musician trying to write a song, trying to start a company. Entrepreneurship, this applies to. My business, this applies to. When you run a marathon, 26 miles, the first 22 is only 20% of the work. It's those last four miles that are 80% of the work. You close or you hit the bricks. You can't close shit. You are shit. Hit the bricks, pal, and beat it because you are going out. <sighs> I 
have to go home now because there would be a terrible irony in me not finishing a movie about what it means to be a closer. This is a bunch of stuff people sent me for mail time. That's a light-up skateboard. Look, it's Jesse. Wait. It's a little me. And as always, he ends the video so well and you just left like wow that, that was a five minute movie like in terms of quality and all the details it's amazing um that's one of my favorite casey vlogs because it makes you want to work hard all his vlogs are really upbeat and it's a good way to get you out of bed in the morning I watch two or three of those and i'm wide awake and i want to make so many videos but yeah i've already ended this one but i'm going to end it again like i said you don't know that so, and you've seen the good version because the video I made this morning for this as you can see at the beginning of the, the beginning half of this this is dark so I had to finish this video properly finish what you start always be closing because there's losers and there's closers be a closer not a loser and that is it from me and Casey <laughs> thank you for joining me guys if you have not already hit the like button do so at some point subscribe leave a comment if you want or just enjoy the video hopefully you have and hopefully you've taken on board something or had fun or killed some time or forgotten about something really negative that you've had on your mind just enjoy the week ahead and i'm going to do the same here's mother's day happy mother's day to all the mothers out there and mine of course ciao